So people are deleting their WhatsApp and joining Signal, and here's why. Simply put, WhatsApp is a Facebook company, and with the new updates to the terms and conditions, people are a bit worried about their data security. They're worried that Facebook, a massive advertising company, yes, it's more of an advertising company than social media at this point, is going to have access to their private messages and is going to be able to give them targeted advertising based on that. Is any of that true? Right now, no, Facebook doesn't have access to your WhatsApp messages and neither does WhatsApp to be quite honest, it's an encrypted system. So that means nobody can see your messages apart from the other person that you're sending it to, thus end-to-end -end encryption. But there are things that Facebook can have access to and that is your basic information that you make public to anybody who adds you on WhatsApp. So that means your name and your phone number and any other generic data that you add there. But you also have to remember that you're now giving Facebook access to all your mobile phone contacts. But if you already have Instagram, if you already have Facebook, this is something that you would have done anyway. So then what's the big deal? What can Facebook do with the information that they find on WhatsApp if it's so small compared to what people are already giving them on Facebook? If you think about it, they can have access to your names. So of course they can have access to the name of your groups. So if I make a group say in Plymouth Holiday 2021, perhaps Facebook will then use that information to give me targeted advertising on other Facebook apps like Facebook and Instagram. So for Facebook, it's all about advertising and I'm sure they'll use every piece of data they can get from WhatsApp to advertise, but the data for now is still encrypted. And that very same encryption is why the government and the police have issues with companies like WhatsApp and Apple because they just won't break that encryption for anybody. But if you're adamant that you don't want to be part of the Facebook ecosystem, like many people who aren't happy with the fact that they might end up getting targeted advertising based on data that's collected from a private messaging app, well, you can move to a different app like many people are doing. You can move to something like Signal. But the real question is why Signal? Well, Signal is the same company that helped build the encryption system for WhatsApp. And Signal stepped up their system because you have to have a pin on top of the encryption. Don't worry, you don't need to have a pin every single time you open the app. You just need a pin for the app. If you are planning to join Signal, a few things to note though. When you first set up, yes, give it access to your contacts. You will need it to use the app. But the only thing you shouldn't do is make it your main messaging app. It will give you that option, but that just complicates things. The real reason why there's no point using Signal as your main messaging app and cancelling out your normal SMS system is because it's not making it encrypted that way. The encryption is if someone else has Signal and they're using that app. So just keep it separate. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.